In this video, let's add the HTML in our Angular template. We will be creating a bootcamp enrollment form. The form by no means is practical, but it serves the purpose. So in app.component.html, begin with a div tag of class container fluid. Within the div tag, a heading that says bootcamp enrollment form. Below the heading, we start our enrollment form with a form tag. The first form control is for the user to enter their name. So here, form group and form control are bootstrap classes. We have a label that says name and a corresponding input tag. The next form control is for entering the email. So again, we have form group form control bootstrap classes, the label email, and an input element of type email. Similarly, we also have a form control for entering the phone number. So we have label phone, input type is equal to TEL or telephone. The next control is a select tag for the user to choose the topic that they are interested in. So first, let's create an array of the topics in app.component.ts. I'm going to create a new property called topics. This is going to be an array. We're going to have three elements, Angular, React, and View. Next, let's bind these to a select dropdown in the HTML. Now this is slightly different. Again, we are going to have a class form group and within the div tag, we are going to have a select tag with the class custom select. The first option which will be selected is I am interested in and then we use the ng4 structural directive to iterate through the list of topics and then display the topic name. So the select dropdown is going to be populated with the values of the topics array. Angular, React, and View. Now once the user has selected their topic of preference, they can select the time slot, morning or evening. So the time preference is a radio button group. So we have a label that says time preference, and we have two possible values. So class form check is what is provided by bootstrap. And for the input element, we have to provide form check input, and for the label, form check label. You can see that they're of type radio and then both of them have the same name, time preference. The value however is morning and evening. For the value morning, we have the label morning 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And for the value evening, we have the label evening 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So that is our time preference radio button. The last control is a checkbox for the user to subscribe to promotional offers. So again, we are going to have a div tag with the class form check and then an input with form check input. But this time the type is going to be checkbox and then the label is going to be send me promotional offers. So that is the checkbox for subscribing to promotional offers. Finally, we are going to have a submit button to be able to submit the form. We're going to have a class of button and button primary and then of type submit. The text is submit form. So let's save this and take a look at our form in the browser. So you can see that we have the heading bootcamp enrollment form. We have inputs for name, email and phone number. A select dropdown for the topic Angular, React or View. Radio buttons for time preference so that they can select either morning or evening and a checkbox to subscribe to the promotional offers. And finally, a submit form button to be able to submit the bootcamp enrollment form. All right, now that the HTML form is ready and can accept inputs, our next step is to see how we can capture the form data so that we can submit it to the server. I'll see you guys in the next video.